Hey, Carl Willis here in my natural habitat uh, in the nuclear engineering lab at the University of New Mexico. Got a fun little thing today. A friend sent me this a couple months ago, and it is a little commemorative trinket from Gulf General Atomics um, that contains these triso fuel pellets for a high temperature gas reactor. A good example of a running facility or a facility that was built uh, with this reactor type was at Peach Bottom. It's now shut down, and that's all the only remains there is the boiling water reactors. But uh, anyway, a nice little trinket with the simulated triso fuel. It is not radioactive. I'll take it over to the Geiger counter and put it on the Geiger uh, counter. You can see that it does not have um, a significant count anyway. So um, I thought, well, you know, it's a cool thing, but you know, it's not hot. So, <laughs> but what a nice surprise when I put it in our high temperature, or our, uh, excuse me, our high purity germanium detector and get a gamma spectrum. Let's take a look at this. This is really fun. Okay, so we're looking at a gamma spectrum here on the computer screen. It is a thorium-232 spectrum mostly uh, with these big peaks from the daughter lead 212 except for this peak which is a uranium-235 peak. Now we don't have the 768 peak or the 1001 peak from uranium so we are talking about enriched uranium and natural thorium. And by the way, this is exactly what we would expect to find in triso fuel, real triso fuel. So it's a simulant, so why is it radioactive? Well, because it was probably made on the same process equipment that the actual triso fuel was. I don't think we have any triso pellets in here, but uh, they were pro these simulants were probably made in the same process, and so they picked up some of that contamination, and we can see it today. Now, interestingly enough, we could probably even date this based on the decay time of thorium needed to populate its daughters. Um, that would be a tricky measurement. It's probably beyond my capabilities in this lab. But, um, you know, all these little radioactive uh, signatures tell a story about this item and make it far more interesting to me than I originally thought it was. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.